They have multiple scores. They play physical. Ricky Davis knocks it down. A trilogy in red. Maybe for Boozer. Here's Harrington. Al Harrington averaging over 19 points per game. It's no way you would say that they haven't won a game. So, I mean, he is, and I think probably George Gerber is trying to figure out what, what's that missing ingredient? Why? You know, a lot of it, too, is you see Al Harrington right here at the top. This Ghost Ballers team finds themselves as in positions where they get down early. Who you had up on your wall that you couldn't believe you were playing against when you entered the NBA? Um, when I played against Magic, um, Michael, um, finally in the NBA. I got a chance when I was in college, when I worked his basketball camp, to actually play with him and see Mike Bibby with the four-point shot. Bibby! Last year led the big three. Six four-point field goals. Yeah, and right there, making them pay right now. Definitely a lot of guys. And here in Canada, Tonight, Wayne Gretzky was a guy that I always enjoyed watching and then having the opportunity to call his games and, and meet him and spend some time with him. He was probably the one. He grew up uh, in this province, yeah, Brantford, Ontario. Right, it's kind of surreal, right, when that happened. One time glove. And now getting the opportunity to work about 20 games a year with Walt Klein Frazier. Oh, yeah. The guy who I grew up watching. And now we get to do a bunch of broadcasts together. In fact, Mike Rappaport joined us one time. Why? Five-point lead for the Ghost Ballers, coached by the Iceman, George Gervin. Here's Boozer. He lays it in. Carlos Boozer, how about his resume? NCAA title, <laughs> Olympic yeah. gold medal. Yeah, great recovery on defense. See if those oh, Bulls can take advantage of it. He did Wide open shot for Ricky Davis. Here's White, picked up the dribble, shoots. Harrington the rebound and the put back. Delay a game warning issued to Harrington. Greg, we need backpedaling that time is really hard to have any lateral movement to stop the drive when you're backpedaling. Bibby back out, five on the shot clock. This is Davis. Davis puts it out and hits. 17 of the 37 points for the Ghost Ballers have come from Ricky Davis. Ron at the end with the press conference, you know, he walked in yes. with the bandage on like nobody was looking. Now you don't have it on. I don't have it on, but after the game at the post-game press conference, I will be putting my 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 brace, uh, aka my soft cast back on the game. But they are referring to this as the Willis Reed game of broadcasting. I did happen to see those jeans for sale on eBay. So weird. Just before the shot clock expires, Carlos Boozer pulls the Ghost Ballers to within four points. Screen set by Boozer. Here's Boozer, he puts it up and he nails it. So the Ghost Ballers now two points away from their first victory of the season. No matter how many fouls they've committed to the half. You have to keep in mind, point game. Beautiful play, Ricky Davis with the exclamation point on the first victory of the season for Ghost Ballers. Uh, they deserved it. They came out and played early on Ghost Ballers. Team basketball, they played defense. Having Mike Bibby back in the fold, as Coach Gervin said, adds a different component of toughness, of intelligence, and also scoring. And I told you it was going to be a tough, tough four points. It was, but a beautiful out-of-bounds play from Mike Bibby.